Hello and welcome to day 46 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, today we're going to talk about restoring confidence when we've been impacted by a situation or, or negativity or those sort of things. So what we're going to be looking at is how mindfulness can help us restore feelings of confidence that may have been you know, affected us over time. Um, one thing we talk about at the moment in the middle of this coronavirus is how infectious um, the virus can be. And obviously we can see that by the tens, the thousands, the hundreds of thousands of people now who have, that we know have contracted coronavirus. And that spreads, you know, you can see that we are all connected because of the way in which the virus is spread. But some of the things that, you know, we haven't talked about or people don't talk about as much is the spread of fear, the spread of anxiety, the spread of, you know, all of the things that are impacting us in terms of isolation. So, you know, and it's impacted, impacted us now over a period of time. So we are coming through some very difficult circumstances and it's got to the stage now where we're day 46 within our mindfulness path that we can have a stronger sense of ourselves, a deeper appreciation um, for our inner resourcefulness. But trauma and deep internal challenges can leave can leave a bit of a mark on, on our attitudes, our relationships, our confidence, our behaviour. Um, and we need to look after the core and, and where we are, where these things are affecting us and where we are wounded inside, if you like. But mindfulness practices can help us to feel more confident in ourselves, restoring our own original authenticity. And over time, we may have developed a tendency to over-monitor everything in our experiences, in our situations. You know, it's normal for us to look out for signs of danger, harm, or anything that is truly unpleasant. And of course, you know, as I said, it, it's healthy to do so. And that's where our subconscious mind keeps us alive with fight or flight. But it can be unhealthy if we're not balancing that mindset out. And we need to remember that 99.9.9% .9 of the time, when we're actually here, we're okay. We're here in each present moment, okay. But we spend a disproportionate amount of our day worrying about the 0.0001% of something that may happen. So if we can learn to acknowledge in our monitoring, our thought process, our situations without letting it take over, we'll stop undermining our confidence and move into a current state of okayness. And by opening up and bringing mindfulness to all of our positive states of being throughout the day, your sense of self-confidence will grow bit by bit, drop by drop, until your bucket of self-confidence is full and you feel truly embodied. And that's really important because the more you open up to your senses of being okay in this moment, moment by moment, the more your nervous system absolutely learns and will relax the more embodied you feel and the more internal resources you feel are available to you the more you relax and by also bringing mindfulness to more and more moments of your day safely health happiness and peace will automatically increase self-confidence within you and you'll feel more confident about others so I just want you to reflect on something here. It's not much of a meditation day today. It's more of a, a day 46 quick chat on a Monday morning. Is this. We have to have balance of thought and realism in our lives. And through mindfulness being able to bring the awareness to any mental narrative or chatter that's taking place. And contextualise it to the actual uh, where we are within the situation. Without hold, holding it in that loving kindness. Without attaching to it. You know, we'll sit here today and we'll surmise and procrastinate about all the things that are going to happen in our lives. All the things that are happening outside amplifies the thoughts of internally. But the reality is 99.9.9.9.9%. We'll just breathe and be in the moment and you'll be watching this video tomorrow. Or day 47 tomorrow. But we put a disproportionate amount of thought, time, effort and energy into... All the things that might not happen rather than being in the moment of exactly what is happening and being able to 
just breathe and be in that moment is is special because you know what it's all we got moment by moment breath by breath and mindfulness can you know somebody i put on a <laughs> i put on a forum yesterday about mindfulness and they said people are breeding mindfulness is selfish we have to have a greater consciousness for everybody in the world not just ourselves wow you know that's um that's an interesting way of thinking of it so if we grow a consciousness of not being mindful and not having compassion and not having empathy but we want to help everybody how does that work because surely the big thing really is empathy, compassion, acceptance, love, you know, all of those words that we need to garner and foster in ourselves to be able to take it to the wider remit. Heal thyself before healing others. Be mindful of yourself before being mindful for others. And it's not about being selfish or greedy or anything else. What it's actually doing is getting you into the best state of body, mind and soul to be you and then to help somebody else be themselves. I don't think it's any more complicated than that. But I want us to do just a very quick mindfulness meditation today. So I'm going to pop a picture up. And all I want you to do really is just to close your eyes and bring your awareness to your breath. Simple as that. Just focus, close your eyes, just focus on your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. And notice now how quickly you can just drop into this moment with love intimacy, compassion and acceptance that you are okay in this moment, you are safe in this moment and if you're breathing then there's more right than wrong with you and when you're present you have the resources to choose how to relate to your experience. Being able to separate your mental narrative with the reality of the situation that is around you. Understanding that 99.9% .9 of your day, you are safe, you are in the moment. But our mind will focus on the 0.1% to overanalyze, to rip apart, to dissect to emphasize all the things that could go wrong. But bring your awareness to your breath and say to yourself, I'm okay in this moment. I'm safe in this moment. I'm breathing. So there's more right with me than wrong with me. And I know when I'm present I have all of the resources to choose how I relate to the experiences and situations around me and not that of my mental and mind's narrative and chatter. I know that I'm okay in this moment with no fear. I am safe in this moment with no fear. I'm breathing, so I know there's more right than there is wrong. I'm doing this with no fear. And I know that I'm now present and that I have all the resources to choose how I relate to fear within the real, authentic situation or experience. And I want you to relate to yourself to say, I know I had the tendency to over monitor everything of my experiences. I know I was looking out for signs of danger, harm or anything unpleasant. But I know I'm okay in this moment. That I'm safe in this moment. That I'm breathing and that there's more right with me than there is wrong with me. And I have the power within to know that when I'm present and my awareness is on, 
the button. I have the resources to choose how I relate to experiences, to emotions, to fears, to doubt, to anything that makes me over monitor the current situation to the reality of my day. I wholeheartedly put my hand on my heart and say, I am okay in this moment. I am safe in this moment. I am breathing the beautiful breaths of the moment. And I know that there's more right than there is wrong with me. And I'm present and I have all of the resources to choose how I relate to the experiences, the situations, the emotions and the fears that my mind produces, over amplifies and tries to complicate my life on a moment by moment, breath by breath basis. But now I know I have all of the tools, I have all of the resources to choose now from this day forward how I relate to the experiences and the situations and the emotions that are around me. You take a deep breath in and you breathe out. We know by opening up and bringing mindfulness to all of the positive states of being throughout our day that our sense of self-confidence will grow bit by bit, bit, breath by breath, moment by moment. We now have the tools, the mindset to heal the core of any wounds that have been inflicted over the years. We now have the ability and the resources to choose how we relate to our experiences and situations and traumas of the past to truly heal our core from within, moment by moment, breath by breath. Take a deep breath in, doing so, wiggle your fingers, come back into the room. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was, uh, you know, all about, it's, it's all about us, you know, it's all about us realizing that 99.9% .9 of the time we're fine, but we have that 0.1% that really can trip us out because we just, absolute escalate everything that's going around us and as I said you know we're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic I was walking the dog the other day and thinking you know this just isn't affecting me this is affecting the world and it goes to show that everywhere in the world <coughs> has had some form of this virus which again absolutely underlines the fact we are all connected but the spread of the virus is also a spread of everything that goes with that the shadows the emotions and everything else but now we know by using mindfulness that we have all of the resources to choose how now we relate to any experience or any emotion. Good or bad, nothing lasts forever. When you wake up this morning, put your hand on your ch uh, chest or your heart, your chart, your heart, and say, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian, I love you. Thank you for being with me on day 46. We're nearly halfway. It's been a pleasure. It's Monday, it's sunny, got some work to do and then I'm going to go in the garden and listen to the birds. Thanks for being with me. Take care. Be love and give love. See you all soon. Bye-bye.